Hello, Hostile Zillions, and welcome to, as you can see from the title, This is Not in the Stars number 17. Yay! The only reason I'm so excited is because it's been over a month since the last one, and just for whatever reason, wasn't making any. But I'm back to doing so. As I said in my second Valparaiso video, I'm going to have a, this Nine of Stars every single Monday. We're going back to how it was before. Anyway, welcome to this Nine of Stars number 17. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Stargirl book series by Jerry Spinelli. Book 1, Stargirl, and Book 2, Love Stargirl. So I read Stargirl when we were in our central, in our central house of Medellin. That was back in July. And while at that house, we met a friend. I mentioned her in a bunch of other videos, I'm sure of it. But anyway, she had a copy of that book, and I read it from her. I read the paper copy of Stargirl. But I don't currently have that copy, so I'm going to show you what the cover looks like using digital. This here, I have Goodreads open, is the cover of what Stargirl looks like. I really like how the cover doesn't actually have any words. You just know that it's Star Girl because of the photos. Alright, now what this book is about is it, it's about this girl whose name is Star Girl. Well, not actually, her name is Susan, but she changed her name. Kind of like how Gravy got by Gravy and not Ryan. Anyway, it's about this girl named Star Girl who, for the first time ever, goes to real school. Up till grade 10, she'd been homeschooled. But she goes to real school for the first time, and she is so different from everybody else there. She carries her pet rat around, she plays ukulele, whatever. At first, she becomes really popular. Her, difference, her differences, she just spikes up in popularity. But then, as time goes on, she falls down, and everybody at school hates her, and shuns her, and whatever. So the book is narrated through the eyes of Leo Burlock, who ends up dating her. And it's just all the stuff that goes on and until at the end of the book. I think they end up breaking up and she moves away to the place she lives in in the sequel. Now, I don't remember the book that well because I haven't read it since July, as I mentioned. But some parts that I can remember that are really good were at the dance. This is the very end, this is near the very, very end of the book. At the dance, when Leo and Stargirl don't go as a couple, but Stargirl does go by herself, they end up like doing this bunny hop led by her. Everyone's just like hopping around and they end up leaving the school and like going all around this field. I have this giant route and it's really awesome. That would have to be my favorite part of the book. I the second book of the series is called Love Stargirl. He did write out love instead of putting a heart, but it still has the classic star girl done in pictures. So this book I didn't have a paper copy from my friend, so I ended up reading it as an ebook. But anyway, what's it, what it's about is this one is now narrated through the eyes of Stargirl. So she moved away to a whole new state, and the whole book is written as one giant letter that she may or may not end up sending back to Leo. And it's about all the stuff that happens to her in her new town, all of the new friends she makes, and all of the adventures that she goes on, because she is now back to homeschooling. I think my favorite part of the book would have to be the day of the winter solstice because, and I'm going to spoil a little bit of the book for you, but bear with me. There's a character named Betty Lou who's anglophobic, which that means she never leaves her house. For nine years, she's been stuck inside of her house. Just something happened to her one day and she's been too scared to leave the house. So anyway, even though she's anglophobic, she ends up coming to the solstice. She comes to what's called Calendar Hill, or she's been planning all the spatulas, and she enjoys the festivities. And Archie, a character from the first book who lives in Arizona where she met Leo, he flies all the way and comes to the event. Those, that, that was really shocking to me, so it's probably my favorite scene in the second book. Alright, so my rating for the Stargirl series would have to be an 8 out of 10. I've gotten good and gave each book a 4 out of 5, so if you translate to my out of 10 rating system, you get 8. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and then I started number 17, which may actually have been a short video, now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't have too much to say about the book, because I don't remember the first one that well, and I also don't want to spoil them. So I hope you liked what I had to say. If so, drop one down below. And also, in my description, I have an Amazon affiliate link. You can go purchase the books there if you want to read them for yourself. All the way down there, in my description, I have got links to the Facebook and Instagram, as I always do. 
go into the comments and let me know your thoughts. Maybe you've read this book before. And also, if you have an idea for a future This Night in the Stars rating, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel so you can see all my awesome content. Aloha till the next video.